good good rising happy Sunday morning just it's age here you're all right um, shit I forgot to see what degree the Sun was at but believe it's no oh it's nine degrees Libra whoa yeah time's moving quick um, the moon we started this morning out with the moon square Venus a bit of a t-square over to Jupiter so tension between what we want for ourselves, the love of our partners, and what we're trying to emotionally achieve. Man, my vision is blurry as fuck. I don't know why. I'm not quite scared about it, but it bothers them. Uh, vision, fire signs. So the sun, the Mars, the Jupiter would be the planets most associated with fire element but I think some would argue that Venus rules the senses and the, your actual physical vision is a sense but obviously you've heard me talk about the third eye would be Sagittarius' realm um, big news today though Mercury went direct early in the morning that doesn't necessarily mean things are going to ease up but the review is over and forward thinking is beginning so now we're trudging back through all that territory what needs to be cleaned up what needs to be let go of for in old times what may be winter survival Cattle guard. <laughs> um, oh, so Virgo can deal with the workplace, whereas Capricorn is the career. We do have we have Mercury in that extended trine to Pluto. So what? What career or work needs to perhaps be let go of? I myself have been contemplating that. The guy I've been painting for, things are getting jumbled, mixed. I seem to always end up with the short stick out of all the trades on these new builds, which may be a common painter thing in a new build, but... Um, the guy I'm painting for is partnering up with someone else on some projects, giving my work away. Um, they're not the, so the, the painter that's taken over isn't doing as good a work. So that's got me reflecting on what the fuck. I was working my ass off doing shit fucking tits. And someone else is coming in just running through and so, yeah, I'm left uh, kind of fucking pissed off about it. Probably going to dump them. Like, look, fine. go with your new fucking painter. I'm losing money. Um, obviously, you heard me in the past complain about uh, hiring and losing money. Well, I hired people to help get the fucking projects done faster. But then now it's like I'm almost going to be paying money to finish a couple of these projects. The shit didn't work out fucking correctly. But then also it's like, oh, okay, hey, well, maybe I should be charging 25% more than I have on these fucking jobs because I'm doing it right. They're doing it fucking with lack of fucking integrity. I don't roll that fucking way. on a number of occasions was asked to fix things not even just me doing it out of my own in integrity just doing it because I was taught to do shit right if you're going to do something um, good time to reflect uh, how has your life changed since 2008 in some sense that might feel like lifetimes ago um, 2008 reason being that was when Pluto 
moved from Sagittarius to Capricorn. Um, yeah, the fire signs, Leo and Sag for sure. I guess Aries too can be the signs of party. Um, you know, Aries would be looking for that adrenaline dumps or whatever kind of that go, yeah, I, I mean, maybe I got that wrong as far as the true science, but if it's adrenaline or some other chemical in your body, but, but definitely Leo and Sag can be definitely some party signs, uh, so when Pluto moved into Capricorn, it was time to uh, deconstruct the traditions, we've seen, we're seeing a traditional world fall apart since 2008 Capricorn is a serious sign and uh, I think we're about a week and a half or so for Pluto coming direct out of retrograde and on a march to zero degrees Aquarius in March of 23 and we'll see the world turn upside down do you have the knees to make it to the top of the hill? Top of the mountain? What is the Mount Everest in your life right now? And do you have the knees to make it there? Because the end of the, the peak is where things get the toughest. That last stretch. What kind of a mountain goat are you? Um... What traditions have been falling apart? What businesses have been falling apart? Authorities. You know, that's perhaps what we see a bit more in this current world is perhaps our authority is, is going to lose their power and Capricorn rules control and fear. So perhaps that's what we see falling apart more than anything. It is control and fear. And the greatest way to control is through fear. Right. Um, so yeah, the moon going to be crossing over Pluto. This will be the last time while Pluto's retrograde for some time we will get one more splash of Pluto in Capricorn <coughs> in towards the end of 23 yeah I believe or mid 23 I believe uh, Pluto's only going to go to zero degrees Aquarius before coming back into like 29 28 Capricorn. Yeah, but time to reflect and see. Fuck, there were so many things. It sent me to prison. Uh, kept me grounded without a license for years. Substance abuse like no other. A dream job like no other. My dad committed suicide. A child. Many of people being lost. Actually, many of people. Uh, you know, Capricorn rules depression. So perhaps we really are going to be looking forward to that liberation of Pluto going into Aquarius. Things change, start that out.